Next up, let's trace our line art. Using the pen tool, it's gonna to be really, really easy. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit first. I'm gonna take my zoom, and I'm just going to zoom in and then hold space bar to get the hand. And I just kinda of want my line art filled in pretty good so I can see it. Using the pen tool and making sure I have no fill, but a stroke, and I want a stroke I can see. I can do black on black, that's probably fine. So I'm gonna click on the stroke and I'm gonna bump it up to like five points, something like that. Now what I want you to do on the line art is we gotta think about stacking order, things that go ahead or behind. So the way stacking order works is the first things you draw go behind or on the bottom, next things go on top, and we wanna have a variety of shapes so that we can fill stuff in with our patterns. So typically when you pin tool, it'd be a little bit different if you're doing an illustration with colors versus what we're gonna do with patterns. So what I mean by that is like, this leg should be one, one shape, and then these toes. And then this leg, I'm gonna draw a line across like that or maybe up here, something like that, so that it's a separate shape. And this leg's a separate shape. That way I have more little shapes so I can use all my variety of patterns. I'm gonna start with maybe this leg. And I'm just gonna do one little one like this. You should already know how to do the pen tool. So I just want to do one little pattern as you watch. So you can see kind of what I'm talking about. Going along like that and maybe I want that one a little bit higher. Okay, I'm gonna come over there. Now I can turn this off and I might actually make, I'm gonna take my black arrow and select on my line and I'm actually gonna make that bigger. I'm gonna go with 10 points for my particular one because that's about eight. 10 point thick drawings. If I turn it off, on, off, it's about the same. Now, I'm gonna switch from my stroke to my fill. It's black. And then I'm gonna pick, oops, make sure I'm on my fill. Come back to swatches. And I'm gonna pick one of my patterns like that. Now I do want a black stroke, so I shouldn't have taken that off. So I'm gonna go black stroke, bump it up to 10 points again. So what I want to see is that you've created a bunch of individual shapes with different patterns, okay? And then we'll come back in the next video. I'll show you how mine looks like when it's done. You might wanna look at that before you do all your individual ones so that you can kinda of see all the little pieces that I've done to get an idea of what I'm looking for. So before you keep going, check the next video. Just see my finished product and then come back and do all your other little pieces.